warning. A fire has been reported in the building. Leave the building immediately. Do not use elevators. Do not bring personal belongings. Leave the building immediately. Welcome to my fire alarm system what I have installed in my garage to protect equipment and boxes what we have valuable stuff in. Now the detector what you're looking at is out of my previous fire alarm systems. Now it's an ESP fixed heat detector which has two red LEDs what light up when it detects a fire. Now from the detector we have two wires going along to a 32 tone banish multi-tone sounder that has 32 tones and it has three volume levels now from the sounder there's a wire what goes down to a 12 volt DC adapter the reason there was two wires from the detector is one going to the sounder and the other one's going through the sounder to this DC power supply the reason there's a lot of spare wire there is due to, in the future, I might upgrade the system, put a panel there, and I might even add a manual call point. When that would be, I'm not too sure it could be in one month, it could be in two years, or it could be never. Now, when I set the system off, what I'm going to do in a minute, there's two ways to reset it. You can have unscrew and screw the detector back up, or you can turn the switch on and off. Now I'm going to turn the switch on and off to set the system because it's more easy and it's more convenient. Now here goes. Just to let you know also that I am going to use a hair salon product what blows hot air out due to I originally used a candle when I first tested it and it burnt it so I now use hair drying products from salons or well, not salons just things like hair dryers or anything that blows hot air out basically has now been set off. Now the red light on it has lit up or the LED to be more correct. Now I turn the light off so you can see the LED better. A few seconds. Now I'm going to turn the DC power supply off and now since both LEDs and the sounder have stopped I can now turn it back on. Now this isn't totally important, it will give some protection due to all the valuables we have in this room. When I say valuables I mean cardboard boxes what have stuff in them what's worth a lot but there's one major problem with this system what's why I want to get a panel or build something what can have a backup battery in is because this is a power failure it will not work luckily we don't have many power failures that often we might only have maybe one maximum two a year and there isn't a high potential of fire in this room either but not only that, it's a hobby and I just did it because I thought it would give some extra protection to the room and mainly because I wanted to. Now, that's all my system really. If you have any queries, please post a comment. Um, that's it really and that's the end of the video.